it generally will not reverse the hard plaque, though I have seen some calcium scores go down on statins. Typically, you'll actually see the calcium score going up on statins. And the thought is that it's taking the soft plaque, which is more prone to rupturing, and causing it to become more firm. And so the calcium scores will go up. If you do a calcium score test and then don't make any changes, the calcium score test will generally go up about 20% a year. If you make some That's type, really high. Yeah, it's 20% it's a, a year? So No wonder everyone's so, dying of a heart. Right, so that's like, why you got to look for it as early as possible and start really, intervening. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I saw third six-year-old with a calcium score nearly 1400 a six-year-old 36 year old 36 year old yeah and so that person it didn't happen in from 35 to 36 it had been happening since by his 20 so the sooner you can find it the sooner you can start intervening but if you do an intervention and you see a calcium score stay about you know no more than five percent increasing you probably got ahead of the game and you've stalled that plaque build up and there's a chance that the saw plaque will shrink but you're not going to see that on a calcium score test you'd have to do the ct angiogram to see that part how do people then, you know, when we talk about regression, what are we talking about? Generally, you're talking about the, the lipid-rich cores of the plaque shrinking down. So you can think of the plaque as almost like a pimple, and it has a thick cap over it, hopefully. The ones that have thinner caps over it, they're more prone to kind of opening up all that damaged cholesterol, white blood cells, the smooth muscles, all that stuff spills out into the blood, and now the blood clots. And you go from having a 50% blockage to immediate 100% blockage as the platelets are sticking in that area. And that's what essentially most heart attacks are. Um, 